seems the most powerful elected Republican in our nation has already given up on Donald Trump winning the White House. The House Speaker Paul Ryan held a conference call today with House Republicans. A source familiar with that call speaking to Fox News says the leader told members he will not defend Trump. He will not campaign with him during the final weeks of the election. That source says Speaker Ryan announced he will instead spend all of his energy making sure Hillary Clinton doesn't get what he called a blank check with a Democratic-controlled Congress. We're told he also gave Republican House members the cover to abandon Trump as well, advising them, quoting now, you all need to do what's best for you and your districts. Truth be told, this isn't that big a walk back for Paul Ryan because Paul Ryan never really went there. Remember, back in early summer, after weeks of holding back support for Donald Trump and denouncing statements from him, Speaker Ryan in June finally did announce that he would vote for the party's nominee. The House Speaker wrote a column in his hometown newspaper, the Janesville Gazette, that read in part, and I quote, It's no secret that he and I have our differences. I won't pretend otherwise. And when I feel the need to, I'll continue to speak my mind. But the reality, the Speaker wrote, on the issues that make up the agenda is that we have more common ground than disagreement. Speaker Ryan never endorsed anyone. He never used the word endorse. He never said the word endorsement. And we reported here that no endorsement was ever given because it was not. Then Ryan's communication director tweeted, and I quote, feel free to call that an endorsement. Of course, the thing is, we don't get to feel. We waited for Speaker Ryan to actually issue an endorsement. He never did. Here's how Speaker Ryan explained that decision in an interview back then with ABC News. I believe that he's certainly better than Hillary Clinton. Uh, these are the choices that we have. And here's the question I ask. Do I believe that these principles and these policies that flow from those principles have a better chance of making the law with Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton? Absolutely, I do believe that. And I think that's what's necessary to save this country from the bad path that it's on right now. Endorse is an easy two-syllable word. He never did it. No endorsement ever came. Today, representatives for Speaker Ryan responded to what he said on the conference call this morning, and they said he is not, quote, unendorsing Donald Trump or conceding that Hillary Clinton will be the next president. Well, of course not. You can't unendorse if you never endorsed, and he didn't. So this is semantics, really, from representatives, but it does have an effect. Speaker Ryan has been very clear. The Republican currently closest to the White House just abandoned the Republican seeking the presidency and told other Republicans it's okay for them to do the same as dozens more have. That's never happened. Most recently, dozens have deserted Donald Trump in response to that leaked video in which Trump bragged that he can grope women, sexually assault women whenever he wants because he's a celebrity. But at the debate last night, when asked three times by Anderson Cooper, Trump finally said he'd never done so, even though he actually admitted that he had done so in the audio, audio recording. Trump and Speaker Ryan have never appeared together on the campaign trail. Now, they were both supposed to speak at a rally just this past Saturday, two days ago, in Paul Ryan's home state of Wisconsin, the big come-together of establishment leader and would-be president, but it did not happen. Because Speaker Ryan uninvited the billionaire candidate after that video went public. Unfriend anyone? So where do things stand now? The latest national poll has Secretary Clinton with her biggest national lead of late, double digits, and Republicans are clearly in disarray. We have Team Fox coverage, Carl Cameron covering the Trump campaign in Pennsylvania. First to the Fox Business Network's Peter Barnes, who's live in our D.C. Bureau. I want to get more on this conference call this morning. Donald Trump now responding to what Speaker Ryan said on that call. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, uh, Shep. Trump tweeted 90 minutes or, ago or so, quote, Paul Ryan should spend more time on balancing the budget, jobs, and illegal immigration and not waste his time on fighting Republican nominee. But it is Trump who is fighting to rebuild support among voters following that video on Friday. A new Wall Street Journal NBC News poll of likely voters taken over the weekend before the debate shows Clinton's lead over Trump growing nationally, now 46 percent to 35 percent when the two third party candidates are included. Most significantly, her lead among women voters jumped to 21 percent in this new poll, up from a 12 percent lead over Trump in the journal poll in September, Shep. Back to the conference call. This is a regular thing that Paul Ryan does. I think he calls it a family phone call, but reporters aren't on that call. That said, there have been lots of leaks. What else have you learned? 
Well, Ryan also made clear in the call that he is willing to take political heat from his own party for uh, this position that he announced today. Some pro-Trump House Republicans said that after this weekend and after the debate, uh, that while uh, they condemned Trump's lewd comments, Republicans need to maintain their support for their nominee to help defeat Hillary Clinton. Like many others, I was disappointed uh, when that video came forward of, of something he said uh, uh, 11 years ago. But the binary choice America faces, uh, a future, an uh, effective four, next four years of Barack Obama, if Hillary Clinton were to win, the future of the Supreme Court, uh, versus Donald Trump, the change agent. And one thing some Republicans are worried about now is a double hit because of Trump. On the one hand, there may be some Republican voters who stay home because they don't like Trump, which could cut votes for other Republicans on the ballot this November. And on the other hand, there uh, might be some Republican voters who are Trump supporters who won't vote for the congressional Republicans in their district because of the anti-Trump views of the Washington establishment GOPers. Shep? It is a complicated current reality. Thank you.